in the previous two videos we studied uh, the transverse electric modes in uh, circular waveguides now in a similar way we can study the transverse magnetic modes in circular waveguides in this case the hz equals zero and the longitudinal field component is ez which can be represented as a mode function ez the function of rho and phi multiplied by the propagation function e to the power minus j beta z by applying Helmholtz wave equation for the waveguide structure we can obtain that the differential equation for the mode function is partial squared by partial rho squared plus 1 over rho partial by partial rho, rho plus 1 over rho squared partial squared by partial phi squared plus kc squared ez equals z, equal 0 uh, where kc squared is k squared minus beta squared and beta is the propagation wave number of the mode inside the circular waveguide. Uh, by following up similar steps for the TE case, we can obtain that the mode function Ez as a function of rho and phi equals A sine n phi plus B cosine n phi multiplied by basal function Gn of Kc rho, where Gn is the basal function of the first kind of order n. Uh, fortunately, in the case of transverse magnetic mode, we can apply the boundary condition directly on Ez, because Ez in this case would be tangential to the boundaries of the waveguide. So Ez as a function of rho and phi would be zero at rho equals a. This means that the basal function Gn of kca would be zero or in other words kc it would be bnm over a where bnm is the mth root of the basal function of first kind of order n should be noted here bnm is the root of the basal function directly in the previous case for transverse electric mode we used b dash nm which was the root of the first derivative of the basal function okay uh, the roots of the basal function of different orders are tabulated here so for order n equals zero the first root is 2.405 the second root is 5.520 the third root is 8.654 for the basal function of order 1 the first root is 3.8 the second root is 7.01 the third root is 10.17 and finally for the basal function of order 2 the first root is 5.13, the second root is 8.4, and the third root is 11.6. It can be noted that the lowest uh, order or the smallest root is the root of the basal function of order 0, the first root. This means that the dominant mode for the transverse magnetic mode is TM01 mode. The first TM mode to propagate is the transverse magnetic TM01 mode. And it should be noted that there is no TM10 mode. Right? Okay. Also, it can be noted that the cutoff frequency of the dominant transverse magnetic mode depends on B01 which is greater than B-11 which correspond to the root of the transverse electric 11 mode. So the lowest 
cut off frequency in general inside cylindrical waveguide is TE11 mode. Okay? But for the case of transverse magnetic mode, the lowest mode is TM01 mode, which is slightly higher than the TE11 mode. Okay? Uh, the cutoff frequency, F cutoff of the mode NM in this case is given by BNM over 2 by A square root mu epsilon and the propagation wave number beta NM is given by square root K squared minus KC squared where KC squared is BNM over A squared. Alright. Now, the field components for the transverse magnetic modes are given by the EZ as a function of rho phi and Z is A sine N phi plus B cosine N phi multiplied by Bessel function J N of K C rho e to the power minus J beta Z. E rho given by EZ is proportional to partial EZ by partial rho. So in this case E rho would be proportional to J N dash. And E phi would be proportional to the derivative of H EZ with respect to phi. So in this case it would be proportional to J N but the sine phi would be cosine phi and cosine phi would be minus sine in a similar way, we can obtain H rho. H rho would be proportional to the derivative of Ez with respect to phi. And H of phi would be proportional to the derivative of Ez with respect to rho. Okay? And the wave impedance ZTM equals E rho over H phi or minus E phi over H rho. And in both cases, it is beta over omega epsilon, or in other words, it is eta beta over k. The field distribution for different transverse magnetic modes, if I'm talking about TM01 mode, in TM01 mode, the electric field would be radial, and the magnetic field, it would be in phi direction. If we remember, TE01 mode was the reverse. In TE10 mode, the magnetic field was radial and the electric field was in phi direction. Okay? In the case of transverse magnetic 01 mode, we find that the electric field here is concentrated in the longitudinal direction along the axis of the waveguide. If we remember, if we are talking about TE10 mode, the magnetic field was concentrated around the walls in the longitudinal direction. Okay? If I'm talking about TM02 mode, here 0 corresponds to the variation in the phi direction. We don't have variation in phi direction. But 2 here corresponds to the variation in rho direction. So we have two peaks here. So in this case, we have a peak of the electric field here and another peak of the electric field here. We have two peaks. So the second number here corresponds to the number of peaks in the radial direction. The first number corresponds to the number of peaks in uh, the phi direction. Okay? For the case of transverse magnetic 1 1 mode, we have one variation in phi direction and also we have one variation in rho direction. So we have in rho direction we have electric field in this direction then we have reverse electric field in this direction. Okay.